Okay, so before we get into the video, I'll have my full uncut reaction to this episode over on my Patreon, where I'll also be way ahead of this YouTube edit. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description. But as for now, I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to another Amber Vinny reaction. We're on season two, episode eight today. Now, as you know, that previous episode was my favorite episode so far of Amber Vinny, Aunt Josephine's Party. Everything about that was absolutely brilliant. I loved all the scenes between all the characters. I love that Cole got to meet her because he didn't want to go to that party. He ended up meeting her, ended up dancing with Aunt Josephine. And then ended up telling her that he may be like her and Gertrude, he's gay. He was able to tell her that. And the fact that he didn't want to go to that party beforehand. And it was just full of really good stuff, like him and his art. He didn't think he could draw anymore. And then you had that one woman who was inspiring him, and Anne. And it just shows you the people that Josephine surrounds herself with open-minded ambitious good people um and yeah it helped it helped them it helped Anne it helped Cole I hope we see Bash in this episode we didn't see him in the last one and uh we can't have two episodes about Bash that wouldn't be right <laughs> so hopefully we see him in this one we had Gilbert who he's working hard to become a doctor which is all good he's ambitious and yeah everything seems to be okay for now for now hopefully nothing bad is coming up so yeah those are all my thoughts going into this episode this is season two episode eight of Anne with an e let's get into it my big sister susan was proposed to he said father has given me the farm in my own name what do you say darling pet we get hitched this fall darling pet have you ever heard such a father has guaranteed me a position on the toronto stock exchange and uh, upon our relocation <sighs> i'm so sick of this guy sick of him have several boats and be proposed to several times just to drive Gilbert Blythe mad before I accept his offer. Of course. He was going to bring up Gilbert. It's expected. My life will only be complete if you consent to our marriage. I vow to be a distinguished and, and, and worthy... Oh dear. Thank you, Father. Oh my god. I don't like any of that. I hate it all. If you cook and the food ain't have no taste, I chew and swallow. I carry this pain quiet into the cold Canadian spring. Gilbert's busy you know that, working like hard. When I say lesser men would have cracked by now, then oh no, his tooth. Close the door. Uh, no, you're right. Just be my friend. The only one I have in this vast lonely country. <clears throat> Oh. Damn. Like a little peace and quiet. <laughs> Coming. I can't wait to get away. Right. Marilla never got to have that day being married because she had to stay home with her family. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hope one of these days Cole knocks him out. I would love that. I would love that. With every episode that goes by, I hate Billy more and more. You disgust me. Be on your way. What the fuck was that? I was hoping for some coconut water. My mom used to give it to me as a kind of healing. Or maybe a trade ship came in with some Huang Lian. It's Chinese. I have no idea what you're saying. You should be with your own kind in the bog. The what? Don't play dumb. You know what I'm talking about. The slum. For people like you outside Charlottetown. People like me? It's true. Get out of my shop. Go back to where you belong with the other delinquents and indigents. Oh, piss oh. off. The student who finishes last will wish he had stayed home from school today. What is with the looks and stuff with him? Like, is Mr. Phillips gay? Sebastian. Is that what that's about? Sebastian, what are you doing here? You look terrible. You're not welcome here. You tried to kill me at the Christmas pantomime. Keep your mouth shut. Threat in this classroom? It's you, Billy Andrews. Return to your lesson. No doctors around here for me. That's what the man said. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 
pets. Sounds like quite a fuss. Why, that's Gilbert and Bash. Yes, Gilbert. Not backing down. Gilbert. All that is safe. You must come to tea someday soon. You too, Gilbert. Thank you. I appreciate the apology and the invitation. Disgusting. Oh, fuck off. Man. I'm looking to pursue a career in medicine. My, won't that be wonderful? Finally, a doctor in Avonlea. <laughs> Rachel is out. <laughs> ah, yes. My surprise. I forgot all about it. It's pretty. That must be from Anne. <laughs> Anne Shirley Cuthbert is a passionate individual, all right. Yep. Sure Gilbert and Anne will be together down the line. I hope the show is not cancelled before that, though. Tell us. Catch. <laughs> Honestly. Mr. Andrews, that's enough. Finally, is he actually going to get in trouble for once? To whom does this belong? Oh, of course not. Carl was going to get the blame. It's mine, sir. Oh man, this episode really uh, pushes your buttons, doesn't it? There's a lot in this you just hate to see. Why don't you tell the truth for once? I was just doing what you told me to. Oh my god, I hate him so much. Oh, I'd love for you to headbutt him right now. Cole's a nice guy, he, he doesn't want any trouble. Open your hand. You are the most disruptive student in this classroom. Stand up to him. That is your perception, but it is not fact. If you want to hate someone, you should look in the mirror. Yes, Cole. Open your hand. No. Gotta love it. You'd love to see that. Tell him, Mr. Phillips, no. Be sure you have good light to read by. Is there something else that may be the cause? Something worse? I'm not going to make a formal diagnosis right now. Just follow my instructions and I'll see you soon. Nope, there's nothing else wrong with Marilla. It's just eye strain. She'll be fine. Blake, new plan. I'll get it fixed up here and then we go to the bog. Blake! <laughs> oh man. Not a fan of needles. After my study plan, I promise I won't keep fainting. It would be my privilege to mentor you. I've been thinking I might like to share my practice someday. Ah, settled. Let's go to the bog. The snow. <laughs> He's fine. Just a little laudanum. Yep. <laughs> you, doctor? No charge. If Gilbert will clean up around here. Oh my god. <laughs> All this after ten children. Marilla, is that your brooch? Oh yes. And saw that, didn't she, before? How could I? I don't mind a simple supper. Anne said the pawnbroker was a powerful negotiator. There's still some fight in these old girls yet. <laughs> Let's go in. Go get that pocket watch and brooch back. You were supposed to start a new tradition of educated wives who think for themselves. I can still go someday. I'm sure I will. Percy, it's not too late. I'm not a child. I know what I want. Uh, she's just gonna have to stay back and make Mr. Phillips happy. Miss out on college and stuff. I hope something goes wrong with that wedding, honestly. And she's able to just, you know, have fun. And think for herself and stuff. There's a good looking man outside. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he making us wait? Talking to ladies. Must be out of practice. Must be. Marching here with your mango this, lucky that. I'm sorry. For a moment you made me forget all my troubles. Mm. <laughs> Take you, match to my intellect, proponent of my happiness, friend of my heart, to be my life mate. Well, that's going to be... Oh, shit. I was going to say, that's going to be Gilbert in the future, but... Oh no. You gave me too much. I was hoping for some breakfast. You do know how to cook, don't I? Good night. Oh, I guess Bash is in love. <laughs> I'm very proud of you for coming to me straight away with the truth. It belongs to you now, Anne. 
Most everything in that trunk should be yours. With any luck, I'll get to see you as a bride one day. That'd be great to see, actually. You brought it. You reclaimed it. I am bequeathing it to you. This too will be yours someday. I don't know which I love more. The word bequeath or the brooch. It's really cool. I like that. Because she said, I'm glad you come to me with the truth. And it goes back to like the first episode when you know she was wrongly accused of taking the brooch. And she was telling the truth. Look at Gilbert just looking at Anne like, yep, one day this will be us. Yeah, she's realizing now she wants to uh go to college and yep live her life how she wants to her mum's happy Hell yeah. See, that's what she should be doing. Having fun and stuff with her friends, like... There we are. Well, I'm happy with that ending. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Now, that was a really nice ending. I liked that a lot. I was kind of hoping something would happen with that wedding. Um, and I kind of had a little feeling that it may not go through. And there we are. Prissy, she's uh, having fun there at the end with her friends. That's what she should be doing. You know, she should be thinking for herself, you know, like her mum said, she wants her to, going to college. Um, and yeah, she's not going to be serving Mr. Phillips. Now, the scenes of Mr. Phillips in this episode, with that strange one with Cole, a very uncomfortable scene where he was staring at him. And um, yeah, at that moment, you kind of get it. Like, okay, I think he's gay. And Cole mentions that later on. Cole mentions Mr. Phillips think he's like me and he can't punish himself so that's why he's picking on me it does seem like maybe that's the end of mr phillips i'm hoping it is i'm hoping he goes away now we don't see him ever again because man that scene of cole as well when he was like cole open your hand and i was thinking please don't don't because we just had a scene right where billy was winding cole up again and it's like mr phillips is actually going to go and hit him now like what the fuck's this i'm very Happy that Cole stood up to him. That was such a great scene. And you could see it on Mr. Phillips' face. He won't do anything after that. What can he do? He's picking on Cole this time. But, yeah. At that moment, uh, he was showed up. Now, in this episode, Bash met a woman named Mary. And uh, he really, really likes her. I guess he's already fallen in love with her. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to see more of that. I like that with Bash and Gilbert. I like, how, I like their friendship. In fact, I love their friendship. I love how Gilbert's always there when they were going to get on the train. And that one dickhead was like, no, Gilbert weren't backing down. I love that. Like He's just he's standing up for Bash no matter what. Overall, though, that was another really well done episode. I'm looking forward to seeing more of Bash and I guess Mary. I mean, that's going to be a thing. Looking forward for that. But yeah, that was another brilliant episode of this show. This was season two, episode eight of Anne Marini. Hope you enjoyed my reaction. And as always, cheers for watching.